Okay, so this is video 5 in the grade 11 chapter on Newton's laws. And here we're looking to apply Newton's second law to motion in the vertical plane. And we'll look at a problem that involves a pulley. So the first question we need to look at is on page 25 of your notes. And it's really just two masses that are joined by a string. And there's an upward force applied to the 1.5 kg block. The upward force is 70 newtons. So in this problem we need to find what the acceleration on the system is and what the tension in that string is. So pause the video and attempt that question and come back to see how your answer went. Okay. Let's isolate each block. Let's make a choice of direction. We want to make upwards positive, and that's there's no real reason for that. Um, it might turn out that the the system is accelerating downwards, and then our answer would come out negative. But we've made a choice of direction up to be positive, and that just helps us making a statement for our net force. So if we apply Newton's second law to the 1.5 kg block, the net force, the left hand side, is the upward force F minus tension down minus the gravitational force that acts on that block. And that's equal to its mass, 1.5 times its acceleration. We know the upward force to be 70, we don't know T, and we know the weight. We can calculate the weight of that 1.5 kg block. So if we do the maths and solve for T again, we find that we get this expression for the tension force if we just move things around correctly. So again, we've got an, an expression in two unknowns and it's impossible to solve that unless we have a second equation in those two unknowns. So we do the same for the 4.5 kg block. We look at the forces that are acting on it it would also have to undergo the same acceleration as the 1.5 but the forces acting on it would be an upward tension T same tension as it's the same string so these two T's are the same this one acts upwards on the 4.5 kg and that tension T acts downwards on 1.5 the 4.5 also has a gravitational force acting down so these are the two forces, vertical forces, acting on the 4.5 kg. So if we apply Newton's second law to that, up is positive, so T minus Fg would give us our net force. And the mass is the 4.5 kg block multiplied by the acceleration that we're looking for. The 4.5 kg block has a weight, mass times G. And that comes out to be 44.1. If we take that across, we get a second expression for the tension in the string. So these two expressions here should be equal to each other. And if we set them equal to each other and solve for A, we get an acceleration of 1.87 meters per second squared and it's come out positive. If it had come out negative, then we would have said the acceleration is down. But the answer's come out positive, so that means that the direction of the acceleration is neg uh, upwards. Okay, in the second part of that question, we are asked to find the tension in the string. So we have two expressions for the tension in the string. And we can simply substitute that acceleration into any one of those two and find the corresponding tension. So here's the solution to that. If we use the 4.5 kg, pop the tension, the acceleration in, and we get a tension upwards of 52.52 newtons. So it acts upwards on the 4.5 kg, 
block. But if we used the other one, we'd still get the same answer. It's slightly different. That's because we've rounded off as we've gone along here. We rounded off that acceleration value. But the, they're very close in terms of the two answers. And this would be the tension acting on the 1.5, and that would have been downwards. The second question I'd like to look at is in your notes, it's on page 27. It's a pulley problem. We've got two masses attached together through some kind of string and that string moves over a pulley and if you look at the problem one side is going to accelerate up and the other side is going to accelerate down so I would like you to pause the video and go and find the acceleration of the system and the tension in the string Okay, since you've tried that, you would have realized that you need to draw free body diagrams for each block. And if we look at the 8kg, it's got a tension force acting up in the string towards the pulley. The 5kg also has that same tension force acting up towards the pulley. Tension forces always act towards the pulley. So both free body diagrams would have the same tension force acting up but the weights are different the weight of each block is different so on the left hand side you have got the weight of the 8 kg block is bigger than the upward tension force because I can see that the system because this is 5 kgs and that's 8 kgs the system is going to accelerate in a in an anti-clockwise direction around that pulley and I'm going to make that direction positive so that's one of the first steps you need to do when you're dealing with pulleys decide which way is the system going to accelerate and it's obviously going to accelerate in the direction of the bigger mass because that has the bigger weight so always decide on the direction it's going to accelerate and make that positive well what does that now mean for this side of the pulley downwards is the positive direction so when I deal with this free body diagram and I'm trying to find the net force I'm going to take downwards as positive this side of the pulley is moving is accelerating upwards so that's the positive direction for this 5 kg. So in actual fact, the positive direction has never changed. It's up here, it's anti-clockwise there, and it's down here. So we haven't changed any directions. This motion is all a positive, chosen as a positive direction. So to find the accelerations and tensions, we need to apply Newton's second law to each block. Well, for the 8 kg, it's the gravitational force minus the tension, because we're choosing down to be positive, and the mass is 8. And if we substitute the mass and g in there, and we rearrange, we get an expression for the tension in the string. If we do the same for the 5 kg, we're applying Newton's second law to that. Here, up is positive so my expression for the net force is upward tension force minus downward weight and if I work out the weight I get T minus 49 is 5a the mass here is 5 kgs and I solve for T and I get my second expression for T to eliminate T I make these two equal to each other well we know they are equal to each other the two tension forces it's the same string so the tension in this part of the string is the same as the tension in that part of the string so we make them equal to each other and uh, we've eliminated T 
and if we do the maths right, we should get an acceleration of 2.26 meters per second squared, and this system will accelerate anti-clockwise around that pulley. To find T, we've done this several times now. We take our acceleration value and we can put it into any one of those two expressions. So I chose that one, put my acceleration in, and I found the tension force. So the tension force would act upwards on both blocks.